Over the years, NATO has wanted to attack Russia. To this end, the alliance has been actively expanding in Eastern Europe. That is why Russia was forced to attack Ukraine before Ukraine became a member of NATO and attacked Russia. They left us no choice. You have just heard an abridged version of the Russian propaganda narrative about NATO's expansion in Europe. In their reflections, Putin and other Russian politicians refer to a promise allegedly made by Western leaders to Mikhail Gorbachev at the time of the fall of the Berlin Wall and the reunification of East and West Germany. We were promised that NATO would not move an inch eastwards. But has Russia really been given a promise not to expand NATO? Is it officially written down somewhere? And more generally, was it really NATO that pursued the policy of expansion. It's time to delve into the context. Let's start with the fact that Mikhail Gorbachev denied the very fact of such a promise to the German TV channel ZDF back in 2014. Moreover, according to Gorbachev, negotiations were later held at Camp David, USA, where all parties agreed that the new independent state would decide where to join. West Germany joined NATO in 1955. East Germany was a satellite state of the USSR and fully under its influence. When the Berlin Wall came down, the country was reunited and the eastern part automatically became part of NATO. The second question is whether NATO has the authority to promise either to expand or not to expand. The North Atlantic Treaty, like the United Nations, was created in the aftermath of the Second World War. Under Article 5 of the NATO Charter, if one of the Allies is the victim of an armed attack, all other Allies will consider that act of violence as an armed attack against them all, and will take all measures they deem appropriate to come to the assistance of the Allies so attacked, one for all and all for one. This principle ensures that even the smallest country can count on the protection of all member states. This is the core value of NATO membership. You may be surprised, but NATO's expansion has been very cautious and slow. NATO does not initiate the accession of new countries on its own. To join NATO, a country must submit an application, become a candidate for membership, and then meet the conditions for accession. Once its application has been assessed, the country is granted candidate status. It must then meet a number of conditions and implement NATO standards. Only after assessing the fulfillment of all the conditions set to the current member states, vote on whether to accept the new member or not. What would motivate someone to accept this NATO quest? Probably a sense of military threat. And since the fall of the Berlin Wall, only Russia has provoked a sense of danger in European countries. 1991. Russia invades Moldova. Seeing this, Poland applied for NATO membership in October 1992. The question why did Warsaw want to join NATO is rhetorical. This quote from Poland's first president Lech Walesa speaks for itself. We are all afraid of Russia. As soon as Russia adopts an aggressive foreign policy, it will be directed against Poland and Ukraine. Poland, along with the Czech Republic and Hungary, finally joined the alliance in 1999, marking an eight-year journey from application to membership. It seems that NATO is in no hurry to expand. Meanwhile, in 2003, Russia sparked another conflict, this time in the Black Sea by attempting to build a dam between the Taman Peninsula and the Ukrainian island of Tuzla. With these actions, Russia confirms its aggressive policy. It was therefore not surprising that NATO's next major enlargement took place a year after Tuzla. In 2004, Bulgaria, Latvia, Lithuania, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia and Estonia joined the alliance. It can be concluded that it was not NATO that provoked Russia to defend itself. It is Russia made an expansionist policy towards Moldova, Georgia and Ukraine. And it is Russia that for years has systematically provoked European countries to seek protection from such an aggressive neighbor. In 2014, Russia invades Ukraine and eventually occupies Crimea. And in 2022, Russia launches a full-scale military invasion of independent Ukraine. These aggressive actions had the expected effect. Finland joined NATO in April 2023. Sweden is awaiting ratification of its NATO membership treaty. And Ukraine no longer sees a secure future without alliance membership or an alternative option of integration guarantees from partner countries. So it turns out that it is not NATO threateningly creeps closer to Russia, but Russia's own aggressive actions that are driving more and more countries to join NATO, seeking protection from the main aggressor in Europe in the 21st century. 